Hey, welcome back to Views on Brews. I am Brendan, and this is round two of my Panda Saga. Uh, I'm going to pop this down here now for a little bit. Uh, came with eight cans, and we've done the Super Panda, and we've been drinking these beers now, and they are tasting fantastic. One that I haven't tried, though, is this Mocha Panda. Mocha Panda. Mocha Panda. That's Mocha Panda. Uh, that's up next. So let's get into this Mocha Panda and see what it tastes like and what it's all about. It's a big beer. All of these beers from this um, Panda series, they're big beers anyway. Even the smallest one's about 7.8, I think it is. Um, <clears throat> but this Mocha Panda one I've not tried yet. It's an Imperial Coffee Stout. Um, it just changes the way they've worded it. Uh, the other ones are all tiramisu dessert stout is where they've worded it. Let's see what it says on the back really quick. <clears throat> uh, wakey wakey mocha panda is an imperial coffee stout uh, which will ignite the senses. A twist on our popular panda Nero dessert stout. This is the coffee, a coffee-infused imperial strength version. We've added freshly roasted and ground Guatemalan and Ethiopian coffee beans for a big caffeine-loaded beer. Sounds great. Paired with notes of rich dark chocolate and sweet uh, cream, the flavors mingled uh, for mingle for a bold, boozy take on a mocha coffee. It will leave you buzzing. Sounds great. Uh, wake up the senses, it says. Um, gives it a 10 out of 10 on the a multi scale. What is in it? It just says barley, oats, hops, ground coffee, yeast. That's it. <clears throat> and we've got this really cool design on the front. I'll pop that up on the beer, uh, on the video when I do this later on. Let's get it in the glass and let's see what this is all about. Uh, so it's pretty much the exact same as the colors for all the other ones. Not quite dark, not quite stout like dark, but definitely got a sort of chestnutty uh, colors to it. Um, but uh, when you put it in a glass, of course, it's uh, so thick that it looks as that appearance of being completely jet black, but it isn't. Uh, one thing I do notice on this one is a really decent, solid, thick head of um, tan foam on the top. And the last one we did, the the Super Panda, the, the head had slightly dissipated on that one a little bit, but because the ABV is so high, that's absolutely uh, to be expected. This one has a lot more coffee straight away on the nose. And where the others have the tiramisu, the um, uh, flavor extract uh, put into it, this one does not. And therefore, let me just check what it says on the other ones. Tiramisu extract, and this one does not say that, so it doesn't have it in it. <clears throat> this one, this one obviously shines up more with the coffee because obviously the tiramisu extract isn't there. Ooh, that's a really enlivening extra um, uh, coffee sort of aroma there. It's sort of high fruity notes of coffee, of the coffee bean. Uh, the coffee bean is kind of a fruit anyway. It's not it starts off red, so. Yeah, that's a that's a really nice bright coffee flavor. That's the sort of um, uh, coffee you get in it. A strong coffee, kind of like espresso, but I'm expecting the malts to tame that down a bit and come at it a little bit from the chocolate uh, aspect on the ratio as well to make it more mocha. So we'll give it a go. Anyway, cheers, slancha. Smells fantastic. Whew. That is beautiful. That is really good. And I wasn't sure until I picked it up, uh, just turning on the video, I wasn't sure that it didn't have the tiramisu extract in it. But now I see that it doesn't. It's really nice because it gives you an idea of what the base beer is like before they put that extract in it. And I love the tiramisu dessert one, but I'm also really liking this on the first sip as well. Whew. 
mountains and mountains of coffee in there. But the malt does come in as well. There's a roastiness, then there's the roastiness from the, the coffee bean. Then there's this sort of bright, um, um, bright sort of fruity edge and a bit of a, a zing in it as well. And that roastiness just keeps building on the palate. And then there's that sort of layer just sitting underneath of it of a nice sort of chocolate maltiness to it as well. And that's uh, what I love about uh, these these types of beers. You know, there's so many different layers to them. Wow, that's a big hit of coffee. That really is. But it's not overpowering in any way. It's just a very much a sipper kind of a beer. Um, this hat's keeping me nice and warm. It's freezing cold out here tonight. Um, but that is a super, super, super beer. and uh, Really nice and warm in as well. It's got a great, great can label design on the side as well with the, uh, the cafetiere or whatever you call those things. What do you call those things? Um, <clears throat> what else about it? Strong hit of coffee backed up by a bit of chocolate. That's it. This is the can, uh, the canister, or whatever you call it, that it came in. 100% um, uh, uh, that is present gift material. That is, that is something that if anyone gets that wrapped and left under the tree, they're going to absolutely uh love it love opening that up came with a nice little poster inside this hat which is keeping me nice and warm because i got not too much hair up top um eight cans of beer i've had the the pandaneras i had them already i've had one of these urban jungles i've had the uh the uh, the super panda and i've had one of the double pandas as well they're just fantastic everything in here well worth the money Go get yourself one. Um, cheers, Slancher. That's my view on this brew. Bye bye.